Joining us now is Congressman John Dingell, a Democrat of Michigan. And Congressman Dingell, you've been fighting for this for a long time. Um, in terms of the politics, assuming that there is some problem with the Senate, you will then essentially have all of your colleagues and yourself stuck with a Senate bill that many of you cannot stand, that becomes law. It does a lot that you like, but there's also a lot that you don't like. Doesn't that become a huge political vulnerability for you? It does become a huge political vulnerability, and it does become a huge source of dissatisfaction in the House. But, but uh, Senator Reid was over at the caucus yesterday. He promised that the Senate would carry out its responsibilities, and he made available to us a copy of a letter signed by some 50 and more senators saying that they would pass the agreed-upon language so as to correct the House's concerns. Congressman, tell us about the, uh, the gamble that you've got there. Well, it's, it's a great one. It is the gavel I used when I presided over the passage of Medicare in 1965. And you know what a great piece of legislation that is. This is also the bill of the gavel that I used when I gaveled in the passage the uh, House version of the health insurance reform bill, which passed the House in November. And I'm thinking that this is a gavel that will be used by Speaker Pelosi when she gavels the legislation into law later this evening. Carson Dingell, uh, no one's worked harder on this uh, area than you have. You've introduced a universal coverage health care bill every uh, Congress that you've been a member of Congress, uh, just like your father before you when he occupied that same seat. Uh, did you think that this was the year that it was finally going to happen in the form that you wanted to see it happen? Well, I've always thought that this is the year because you can't stay in this business of mine unless you're an optimist. And it, I believe that it is now finally going to come to happen. And what is going to result from this is 32 million Americans are going to have health care who never did. Uh, insurance companies are going to see their rates controlled and have to deliver the benefits promised. No longer will they be able to cancel your policy because you're ill. Uh, lifetime limits and annual limits will be done away with. Pre-existing conditions will no longer bar Americans from health care. And or not, it is going to reduce the budgetary deficit by over $130 billion in the first 10 years and by over a trillion three hundred billion dollars in the second 10 years. Congressman Dingell, you've seen many presidents, many Congresses try to do this. What was the difference this time? Well, I think, first of all, it, it's time had come. People recognize that something has to be done, and they wanted it done. Beyond that, they had a favorable Congress. Beyond that, you had a remarkable set of leaders in the House and Senate. Speaker Pelosi did a superb job in handling this, as did her leadership team, Mr. Hoyer and the rest of them. Senator Reid performed miracles in the Senate, and members of the Congress came together in both the House and the Senate on the Democratic side to move a bill that is in the broad public interest and that will finally address the concerns of Americans people have with regard to health care. Congressman John Dingell, uh, thanks so much for joining us uh, today. We appreciate it. Good to see you as always. It's a great pleasure, my friend. Thank you.